All right, ready? Yeah. Here we are at uh, our next oak for the class. I think this might be, well, we might get Quercus Kellogii still. So this will be maybe our penultimate oak. This is Quercus Wislazeni. And um, that's in the Phagaceae, like all oaks. And its common name is interior live oak. So this is another oak that has evergreen leaves. Um, and its close relatives are the uh, Quercus parvula, which we learned um, a couple weeks ago, and uh, Quercus agrifolia. And it's in that group. And remember, those guys have um, um, evergreen leaves and they're glossy on the underside. Okay. And so what's different about this guy is just like parvula, it's got flat leaves generally um, that are mostly entire and they um, come to a pointy tip. Now, what's cool about Wislazeni is sometimes you can find um, serrated leaves on the same individual. Here's an example of a serrated leaf growing right next to an entire leaf. And those serrations, uh, you know, Vagrifolia. It's just more like spine tipped leaf margins. Um, and I'm not sure I've seen that pattern on Parvula actually, but where you have entire leaves next to um, serrated leaves. But maybe, you know, who knows? These things all kind of run together. But the more, most important way to separate this from Parvula is just to know where you are. And remember, Parvula is a coastal live oak. And this one, here we are on the um, dry side of Mount Diablo, so pretty far from the ocean. And, um, but this taxon is way more common in the foothills of the Sierras. So it's pretty rare here in the East Bay, actually. There's a few places you can find it around Mount Diablo and other places in the dry um, East Bay hills, probably on the dry side of Mount Hamilton would be another place to look for it. Um, but really, like if you go to say Sequoia National Park or you go to Yosemite, you're gonna be in that elevational band at around 3,000 uh, feet, this will be a very, very common oak in that, in that habitat.